Okay, welcome to the last lesson of Unit 5, Lesson 6, Linear Systems of Inequalities. So we no longer have our equations, we're going to be talking about inequalities. And some definitions, two or more linear inequalities form a system of linear inequalities. That's our, you know, basic definition for our linear equations. We just switched out equation with inequality. And the solution is an ordered pair xy that satisfies both inequalities, or three if there's three. Now, if you remember from us talking about inequalities, we know they just don't have one solution. They have many solutions. But that ordered pair can be called a solution if we're just talking about one thing. So that's where there's some discrepancy in the definition. There are lots of solutions, but we can just say this is a solution. Now, there's not three methods or three choices to solve these linear inequalities. There's just solve by graphing. So we're just going to have to graph and shade and look. So, there's three steps. Step one is to just graph each inequality in shade. And after we shade, this is where step two comes in. There's going to be a point where the shading is going to overlap. And where we see the shading overlap is where our solution is going to be. Now to verify that we did our graphing and our shading right, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a point from inside that shaded area and test it in all the inequalities to see if it's true. So we graph it, we shade it, we look to see where the shading is the same, and we test to make sure that we did the first two steps right. So let's go ahead and go through an example. So we have y greater than 2 and x is less than or equal to 3. So start with y greater than 2. I'm going to do that in red. So greater than means that it is a dotted line. So we have our dotted line at y at 2. And y greater than 2, we pick 0, 0 to test. So we're going to pick 0, 0 to test. We see that 0 is 0 greater than 2. It's false. So we shade the other side. So we're going to be shading up here. Now we're going to graph x is greater than or equal, less than or equal to, sorry, than 3. So we go to 3. And this should be a solid line because of the equal to. We're going to test 0, 0 again because we can. Is 0 less than or equal to 3? That's true. So we're going to shade the same side. So we're going to shade this entire side over here. And as you can see, we have this area right here where our shading overlaps. So that's where all our solutions are going to be. So all we need to do is to pick a point that's in this. And if you can, try to pick a point that's on an axis. So let's just pick this point right here. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 0, 4. So we're going to test that in both to make sure that it's right. So we're going to test 0, 4 in both of them. So y greater than 2. Is 4 greater than true? 2. That's true. Then we have x less than or equal to 3. We plug in 0 for x. 
that's true. So we know that this is right. So that shaded area is our solution. So that's how we represent it. We represent it by this shaded area here. So we graphed, we shaded, we looked at where the shading overlapped, and then we tested a point in the area to make sure we were right. So I want you to go ahead and with your group, pause the video and do that same thing here. So graph, shade, over see where your shading overlaps and then you need to pick a point in that area and test so go ahead and pause the video and do that with your group now okay, and here's the graph with the appropriately shaded areas and I highlighted in yellow where the solutions are and I hope that you notice that on the second equation, the blue one, the negative x, or inequality, the negative x plus y less than 0, you couldn't use intercepts on that because you would have got 0, 0 for both. So you had to put that in slope-intercept form. And you should have also noticed that you couldn't test 0, 0 with that one. You had to test something else, so I picked 1, 0 to test. So go ahead, pause the video, and review this with your group. And then we have the last example here. And the last example has three inequalities, but it's the exact same idea. Graph them all, shade them all, and then see where all three overlap. So go ahead, pause the video, and work this through now. And here are the graphs and the solutions. As you see that there's several places where two of them overlap each other, but there's only one particular place where all three overlap each other, that triangle that I highlighted in yellow. So go ahead, pause the video once again, and check over everything just to make sure that you did it right and to make sure that I did it right. So go ahead and do that now, and when you're done, the video is over.